Hey guys, it's Megadol009 here. Um, the first part of the video messed up, so sorry about that. Uh, this is going to be an updated version of my Dark World budget deck, so here we go. Um, we're starting off with Triple Graffa, Triple Snow, Triple Brow, Double Scar, a Beige, and a Gold. That's basically stuff that hasn't changed in the deck. Um, and then here's some of the stuff that has changed. Is Now I'm running Triple Brow, uh, Double Street Patrol, and eventually I will move this down... And you can see the one Dark Arm Dragon. Um, each one of these I kind of was thinking about um, during the last video, uh, except for Dark Armed. Uh, Mr. Condom gave up, put a really point, really good point in that. And, um, you know, I just uh, decided to try and run it. So I'll tell you guys how that goes as I test this deck, hopefully. But it, it's going to be a while since from when I test. Uh, but going back, going to the spells now, um, we have double duality, double terraforming, triple gates, double lightning, and then the um, first change in the deck is dark world dealings. Um, I decided to add one more for more draw support and another discard um, engine card. And I also added two drag downs. I finally got a hold of these, of a few of these, and um, it. It's basically control, draw, and discard all in the same card. So, I mean, it's a pretty good card. I highly recommend it for budget and the actual expensive deck as it is. Um, and for continuing on the spells, actually, is uh, Card Destruction, Foolish Burial, Dark Hole, Heavy Storm, and Monster Reborn. This is the major change. Um, double Solemn Warning and Trap Death Shoot. Uh... I didn't want to run a lot of traps considering I'm running a lot of spells and not that many monsters compared to it. So I decided to run a few traps and increase the monster count to be above the spell count because that seems to, to me to be more consistent if you do that. Um, also, I know you guys probably are thinking why I'm not running Mind Crush. It was just like a cut that I decided to make. I decided to run Trap Dust Shoot over Solemn Warning. Um, I really can't tell you why, it's just a personal preference thing. I have no idea why I did it myself. So, to explain the changes I made in the monsters, um, the side dark armed is basically three brawn is gets over Thunder King, crashes into Cyber Dragon, discards, and Sigean Street Patrol can crash into uh, Thunder King, and then special summon for Gra to get Grappa, or well, bounce a card back for Grappa. So, it's pretty good to combo with. These are the cards I like to put in the deck, uh, starting off with Gale. Gale will open up the deck to Synchro Plays, which can increase a lot of potency in the deck. Um, I mean, really, it and it has bigger monsters, which is always helpful, so uh, that, that's one of the reasons why I was thinking about running it. The next thing you can run is two Thunder King. Um, Mr. Conum and I have been talking about this before the Tech in the Meta episode. Um, and I think it's a good idea if you can fit them in, because Thunder King basically can shut down the deck uh, in this format, because a lot of these decks rely on special summoning and searching, and he's the expert at basically shutting that down. And also, how do you beat a Thunder King? Summon a Thunder King and crash into it. To be honest, that's like the one of the coolest ways, of, one of the best ways to do it. And that's my phone with, with my text. Sorry about that, guys. If you can hear that. Um, but by playing Thunder King since he's a light, you open up Chaos in the deck. So you can run Chaos Roaster and Black Luster, as you guys are pretty familiar with. I just don't have a Black Luster to show you guys, unfortunately. So, um, sorry about that. And you can also play more lights if you wanted to, just to get that kind of Chaos build into it. Um, another card I'm going to, I would like to add into is a third drag down because the card is so good to me. Um... I mean, it's, it's pretty good. And then trade in. Uh, trade in, you're, level, you're running three level eights in Grappa. You get Grappa's effect when you discard and you draw. So, I mean, it's... To me, it's a good card, kind of, but I'd run, eight, run only one or two. So that's basically the video, guys. The one thing I wanted to ask is if you can put your time zones down below so I can make videos at a time that's more convenient for you to watch. Um... The videos this week are going to be scarce because Mr. Conum and I are doing finals and we're already studying. I, this is just a break in my studying, so 
that's basically it. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Have a good night and peace.